Cody Call getting the call between the pipes. In this one, Tyler Bow starts for the Vipe Nation. And Call is called into action early. Makes a couple of point blank saves to keep this one 0-0. But the Vipe Nation will find the opening marker. Five to go in the first. Riley King with the tip in close. Sexsmith leads 1-0 after 20. Viper 17 shots on goal in the first. Junior's out a little flat to start this one. And five minutes into the second Sexsmith power play, Joel DeMarc, who's a bit of a scumbag, stay tuned, snaps one and beats Call as the Vipers go up 2-0. Just 30 seconds later, though, Canucks kick it into fifth gear, piling on the pressure. Dustin Baum with the redirect in front cuts the lead down to one. And a little later, Dion Lear put in the check and forecheck demolishes Hunter Wells at the side of the net. Then five to play in the second, Colin literally Shea Weber maths and just walks into the zone and claps one in. Bo doesn't know how to stop that one as the Junior Canucks knock this one up at two. Into the third, it's the Vipers with the man advantage. Screen in front, Calvin Sanders goes roof daddy. Sexsmith up one again. Less than two minutes later though, Cole London slick move to get by his marker, finds Lear in front who buries to tie the game at three. And just 40 seconds later, Bomb in front. That's the Bombay Triple Deke puts in his second of the night. Junior Canucks jump ahead just like that. Now remember when I said DeMarc was kind of a scumbag? He dumps the puck in, skates in the boot paint, just hammers call for no reason. That's the definition of a cheap shot blindside hit. Surprisingly was allowed to stay in the game two minutes for goalie interference and roughing after the whistle. And then with nine to play in the game, Vipers unfortunately tie this one up. Brad Dirksen in close makes it a 4-4 game. Then late in the frame, Lear trying to spark his team. Huge hit here. Then just 10 seconds later, it's a double D on. He just drops two Vipers. Now less than two to play, Sexsmith takes their seventh penalty of the game. That's a bad idea. Wes Shipton is going to have the puck in the corner. Mark Reedman going to the slot, taps his stick on the ice, reminiscent of Crosby's Iggy call in the 2010 gold medal game. Reedman makes no mistake. That's all she wrote in this one. Junior Canucks were very good after a flat first period. Call kept them alive in that frame, while Baum big two, big with two goals, shipped in three apples on the night. Reedman with the golden goal late to earn all two points. After the game, head coach Gene Cooper attributed the slow start to the fact it was the team's first game in 14 days and was proud of the boys' fight back. First period was a prime example of taking last weekend off. We haven't played a game for two weeks now, and you can see out there we were flat. We come out not prepared to play, and boy, oh boy, did we get exposed. It shows a lot of character. Uh, we, we didn't have the lead in the game at all until the very end. We were always battling back. And, and uh, to come back and pull off a victory, it was. It shows good character, and, and that's what we build on and go forward with.